Hello, Cyphers community, and welcome back to another World Tanks Conserveo. So, in this video, I'm going to be going over the Char 40T, which is the second tank and the Leclerc line. The first one was the Char 25T, which is pretty much a bat chat, and this is the Char 40T, which is a Lorraine 40T. If you ever played World War II, you know this is the tier 9 and the bat chat's the tier 10. Kind of strange order what it's in right now. So, I'm actually going to feature two replays of the 40T. Now, the 40T game that you're seeing right now is using the 90mm gun. And the second game is using the 100mm gun. I find both guns on this tank to be really nice and really good. Um, also, this tank gets... This tank is very fast. It is quite fast. It goes 72 forward, 28 reverse, and a power to weight ratio of 25.84. And of course, that is when you fully upgrade the tank. Now, let's talk about this 90mm gun. Now, the 90mm gun... Okay, so let's talk about the 25T. The Char 25T. The tank before this one. It gets the same 90mm as the Char 25T. So, it's on a 40T. So, what has improved? Well, you get better reload. Aim time and accuracy is better. And guess what? Now you have 8 degrees of gun depression. And you're in a big tank so you can actually survive from ramming if you get accidentally rammed or you can just run over char 25 t's which is always fun to do anyway <laughs> so yeah um so yeah this gun is really nice it feels really good on this tank way better than it did on the char 25 t just because you get eight degrees of gun depression and it just feels really nice to work a ridge line with this gun so you can get up closer without taking as many shots as before. So, um, the reload, base reload of this gun is 26.5, aim time is 2.3, um, accuracy is 0.34, and your inner clip reload is 2.22. So, yeah. Penetration is 248, standard 320 on its premium, and you're doing 240 damage per shot. And you get six shots, so that's quite nice. And I'm like the char 25t the ammunition does seem to last a lot longer it does feel like you get more ammunition you get 60 rounds on the char 25t so let's talk about the char 25t well i mean the 40t so armor <laughs> good luck with that because this tank has no armor none to really much speak of because the turret armor is 45 at the front 30 at the size and 20 at the rear um your whole armor is not much better at 40 at the front 40 at the sides and 25 at the rear you also get 1850 hit points which i believe is 50 more well no it's actually less than the char 25 unless i don't have the fully upgrade yep i got it's fully upgraded okay so you're bigger you have about the same armor as the 25t but you have less hit points did you last when you fully upgrade the tank so yeah but it doesn't make it be a bad tank this tank i believe is a lot better than the 40 uh, the 25t it's better than the bat chat i believe it's better than the bat chat i've had so much more fun in the 25 in the 40t I'm just going to start calling Lorraine and Bat Chat because I, numbers are going to get me confused. The rain, Lorraine just feels so much better than the Bat Chat. It does because of top speed, higher top speed, and just that extra degrees of gun depression. And it's more accurate, better reload, stuff like that. It just makes it feel like a better tank. So yeah, um... The 40T was very fun. Uh, the rain was very fun to play through. I really enjoyed it. It was quite nice. So right here, um, spots that you would never get into the bat chat. Be workable in the, in the rain. So right now, I'm just trying to put some shots in. And see if I can try to defend the base a little until my team can get back. Also, I see this Tron 5SH that does not want to pay me attention, so I put a shot into him. I got two more shots, and let's see where I put them. I want to take out that type. Put one into him, and there's another one. 
So tight 692 is dead. Securing kills when you're on auto loader is very important. Especially if it's a fast little medium tank like the Type 692 was. Yeah, you kind of don't want him to catch up to you and just start putting shields into you while you're reloading. Yes, this tank is fast, but you still got to run away and you're still going to take some hits. So now I killed the 692, reloaded. And now I'm about to kill the Centurion 5-1. Centurion 5-1 goes down. Use my mobility to get behind this M46A1. As soon as I catch up to it. Kill the 46A1. And trying to figure out where my next target's going to be. There's the Type 773. Kind of want to get that kill. And got the kill. So it's three kills very quick to session. I see no more targets. So I'm just going to go ahead and reload. And now... Okay, computer. So, and now, I'm loading a high explosive clip because I realize of what tanks are left. Especially that 4005, and it is full health. So, if I put six shells into a 4005 turret with high explosive, that's going to be really nice. And so, yeah. Char 25 manages to kill our Centurion 2. It is a 5v4. And let's see what happens. And our the T100 kills the WC111. And for a second right there, in the game, I remember being like, oh, crap, did I just kill myself? But I just jumped down a level. So I was like, ooh. Luckily, I didn't jump off the cliff because that would have been bad. And we probably lost this match. Yeah. Um, right here, I'm waiting for the 4005 to fire because I'm listening for the shell to fire because I don't want to go around there. I get massacred by a 4005. I wanted to take out the 4005 really nicely. So the T100's almost dead. It's a one shot. And I'm still trying to figure out where that 4005 went. Because I really want to put this high explosive clip in. And there's the 4005. And he starts turning around and puts a hash round into my side. I plead that for the 4005. That fire. Somebody else puts one into my side. Here's the T100. Put one into their side and knock them out and put my last remaining high explosive, explosive into the bat chat. <laughs> now as you can see since it's auto loader it's really easy to pick up kills especially if you put your shots into the right spots in the right positions and yeah I've already got seven kills this game and I may get an eighth kill to get me the Radley Walters medal which also here's the yeah since I was reloading, and I know I was a lot heavier than the bat chat, I can ram the bat chat and kill the bat chat. So that's 8 kills, 5,598 damage with the 90mm gun. Now, for the next match, is going to be the 100mm gun. And uh, as you can see, I'm waiting for it to go. So yeah, and I'll see you in the next match. Alright, so this next match is on Dukla Pass. And now... I have the 100 millimeter. Now let's talk about a little about the 100 millimeter. So what do you have? So obviously bigger gun, bigger damage. Your reload is going to suffer. Your re reload goes from 26.5 to a 32 seconds. But your damage goes from 240 to 300. Um, your penetration actually drops in, from 248 to 242 on your standard on your premium, it goes from 320 to 276. So, if you take the big gun, you're losing penetration, but the penetration is still really good for arrow one. Um, you still have six shots per clip. Your inner clip reload went from 2.22 to a 2.7, so it's a longer inner clip reload. Um, what else? Accuracy went from a 0.34 to a 0.36. And... Aim time went from a 2.3 to a 2.5. And you still have that really good 8 degrees of gun depression. And your turret accuracy during turret rotation has increased also. So your less overall longer reload, less penetration. What else? Less accurate, but these are marginal to gain alpha. So that's why I'm kind of featuring both guns because it depends on you. Like, do you want to run the 90 mil or do you want to run the 100 mil and get that more potential, that more clip damage? 
and a clip. More damage, potential damage, and a clip. So yeah. So now, as I just put my first six shots into enemy tanks, I have wrecked up to 14, 1,484, which I didn't miss one shot. Okay, so how many rounds do you get? You're down to 54 from your 60 that was on the 90 mil. Now I'm going to reload and clip out this 46A1 that's out in the field and see if I could do it again. And looking for another target, kind of just sniping here for a second and take out the M50 Sherman. And now I'm just going to reload. Now, notice something. Now you're going to see how bad the mobility can be when you have a dead driver. I don't run medkits in Cold War because I would rather run whole patch or cement screen and I'm not dropping the repair kit because no I like my tracks to stay on and I like my ammo I like a whole bunch of other things so yeah repair kit staying whole patch and cement screen are staying so no med kit for me because that's really nice so yeah anyway Let's take care of the kill on the M116. Here's the Tron 4, trying to put some shots in the Tron 4, but my friendly kind of wants to block the shots because it's a back chat that thinks it has the reload to kill the char uh, the Tron 4, which it does. Oh well, I did track it into play, so I got some assists from there. Oh well. Now, climb this hill and get my speed back up, find another target. So. 3,581 damage with three kills. Now we're just gonna go find more tanks to go kill. And even though when my driver dead, I'm still getting up to my top speed quite nicely. Also, I don't know what skills I was running in this tank, but I knew I do know the equipment. So my equipment is advanced code optics, traction system, and gun stabilizer, and the enhanced target info. So yeah. That's what equipment I was running. I don't know the skills because I already took the crew out of the tank because I'm already on the AMX 30A. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, um, now it's just time for me to race over there and try to put some shots. There's the T95E3 puts them. And see, even with less accurate, uh, less accuracy, less aim time and stuff like that, well, less accurate and more aim time, it's still a pretty decent sniper unlike the bat chat because the bat chat was not sniping you can't really snipe with the bat chat but with the char 40 team the ring no matter what gun you pick you can snipe with quite nice especially because you're such a big tank and yeah also i'm making a mistake here i have six rounds in a clip and I only have five AP, uh, five standard left, so that may come back to haunt me, but not really because they're almost dead. So I'm just gonna ram this 30A. So hello 30A, and I just I said before you couldn't ram tanks in this tank. So yeah, <laughs> so that's 21 penetrations, 5,727 damage, and with five kills. So that was a really quick match. Lasted five minutes. Most of that match was just driving, but hey, um. Hope that shows off by, uh, both guns. Uh, both guns. Also, that was my first match in with the hundred mil. So anyway, that's it for this video. Remember like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to slash fish because we're always not. And peace out, see ya.